take a look and see what's in this big box. Looks like we have a great recipe. We've got the fantastic snaps. Oh, wow. We've got the most divine orange toned roses. We've got the button chrysanthemums or the button crizzy. And our foliage element this week is the uh, oak. Let's take a closer look and get into some arranging. This week's vase, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to use a vase which is kind of like a trough. It's about 25 centimetres in diameter, about 20, 15 to 20 centimetres in height, and the depth or the width of it where the flowers are going to be supported is about 8 centimetres. So something a little bit different. We're going to start working with the oak. Now the oak has a really woody stem so you'll need some um, second hands or something a little bit tougher to snip through and reduce some of the lengths. Um, yeah, just cutting um, the stems on an angle. With the oak, it's a really good little tip to cut up the, um, up the stem or give it a little bash with the hammer. Anything that's got a woody stem will always require a little bit more drink and just put the stems sort of bellowing left, right, left, right. Next we're going to insert the uh, snapdragons. The snapdragons just need some basic conditioning. They just need a quick trim on their, um, on their stems and you want to remove any of the lower leaves which will be in the water level. Just pluck them off with your fingers. I'm going to insert the snaps going to this side and I want my snaps to all be clustered together. Next we're going to work with the fantastic button chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums are really good to use to fill, um, it's a great little fill of uh, flower that will last absolutely ages. Again, just give each stem a trim, pluck off any leaves or um, anything that's going to sit below the water level and just nestle it amongst the foliage and the other flowers. In they go, give a little twist to the stem as you insert them in, just amongst the other, the other stems. We're going to try something a little bit different this week because we're lucky enough to have some beautiful local roses. I need to show you some basic conditioning of roses. Um, they're thorny little buggers, so watch out when you pull them out of the box. They're a little bit tricky um, sometimes to work with, but um, if you have quite sensitive hands, whack on some gloves. If not, just go easy on the lower section of the, um, of the stems. What you're going to do is you're just going to snip off any of the lower leaves at about a third. I don't like to leave the roses to be naked. I think they need a little bit of um, little bit of foliage on top. But anything that's um, like NQR or not looking right, just pluck it off. Roses also will always have a cover petal. These cover petals can just be pinched off really gently. Um, you pinch and peel them and that will encourage the rose to open up and to flower just perfectly, like all roses should. And in they go. And there you have it. That's this week's box and it's trick or treat. Have fun and happy Halloween. See ya.